The last of the three procedures allowed by the standard is the natural ventilation procedure. John, can you briefly explain that one? Natural ventilation uses wind-induced or thermally induced pressures to draw outdoor airflow through openings in the building envelope, such as windows or louvers, rather than using powered fans. Now this procedure includes two compliance paths, a prescriptive path and an engineered system path. When using the prescriptive path, you look up the minimum required sizes of natural ventilation openings in a table based on ceiling height and the floor area to be ventilated. But using this path typically requires a mixed mode ventilation system, which I'll explain in a second. On the other hand, the engineered systems compliant path offers greater flexibility to design the natural ventilation system, as long as you show that sufficient outdoor airflow reaches the breathing zone. Now, as I mentioned, when using the prescriptive compliance path, any zone designed for natural ventilation must also include a mechanical ventilation system designed using either the ventilation rate procedure or the IEQ procedure. This is often called a mixed mode ventilation approach. When the natural ventilation openings are closed due to outdoor condition or occupant preference, the mechanical ventilation system is activated to properly ventilate the zone. Now the standard does include some exceptions to this mixed mode requirement. If the openings are permanently open or equipped with controls that prevent them from being closed during periods of expected occupancy, then no mechanical ventilation system is required. Or, if the zone is unconditioned, it's also exempt. And finally, for either compliance path, the means to open natural ventilation openings must be readily accessible to the occupants. And the controls must properly coordinate operation of the natural and mechanical ventilation systems. So that covers the three ventilation procedures, the ventilation rate procedure, the IQ procedure, and the natural ventilation procedure. 